Monaco had Radamel Falcao to thank as they rescued a vital point against Rennes on Wednesday, the Colombian getting a second-half brace in a two-all draw. But the Principality side are still very much part of the relegation battle with four games to go. With just one win in their last eight outings and none in their last five, they began the weekend four points above the relegation playoff place. And they were always going to have their work cut out against Saint-Étienne. If they're absolutely flying with five wins and a draw in six outings, not to mention three straight clean sheets. Jean-Louis Gasset's side with a chance to snatch the final Champions League spot away from their rivals, Lyon. But it was Monaco who made much the brighter start here. The first chance for Falcao, straight at Stefan Ruffier. But the opening goal arrived on 18 minutes through Jason Martins. Brilliant work there from the Portuguese forward. Latching onto Jemison's excellent cross to get his fourth goal of the campaign, his first since the back end of February. Just putting that one out of Ruffier's reach, in off the post. Gasset looking a little unimpressed with his side's first half showing. They could have been 2-0 down on 38 minutes. William Saliba, the saint Etienne defender, and rising star under pressure there from Falcao, almost putting the ball into his own net. Well, there was bad news for Monaco on the stroke of half-time, though. Goalkeeper Daniel Sabasic suffering another muscle injury and having to go off. Didn't look to be anything in particular, but the goalkeeper feeling the back of his thigh, limping off to applause, replaced by Sedou C. So 1-0 to Monaco at half-time. Lever making a change as well with Anna Nordan replacing Roman Hamuma. Well, the Principality side with another excellent chance on 54 minutes. Camille Glick off the crossbar. And Naldo somehow failing to hit the target from close range on the follow up. And well, Saint Etienne had done very little in the game up until this point, but they found themselves level. After an incredible error from Fode Palo Torre. An incredible own goal from Remy Capella's cross into the area. That was 1 1 on 59 minutes. Saint Etienne then went ahead on 71 minutes. A ball in from Wabi Kazri. A bit of a scramble and a fantastic finish in the end by Capella. Rifled home for his eighth goal of the campaign. Pinball in the Monaco penalty area, failing to clear their lines. And Cavella taking full advantage. Carlos Vinicius coming on for Naldo on 73 minutes. But just seven minutes later, it was 3-1 to Saint Etienne. Cavella involved again, this time with a lovely ball in for Nordart, the substitute, getting his second goal of the campaign. He was also on target in the 5 0 win at Caen back in mid March. Well, Monaco did manage to get a second goal. Martins, the provider this time for Vinicius, also getting a goal off the bench. He got the only goal against Lille back on week 29, the Brazilian. But it was too little too late for Monaco, who could rue their missed chances in this game. Not to mention the own goal that they gifted Saint Etienne. And that is now 19 points from a possible 21 for Lever. And they have closed the gap on third place Leon to just one point.